Breathing in, there is awareness of breathing in. Breathing out, there is awareness of breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. In, out. Insufferable beliefs. Other insufferable beliefs about ourselves. Part one. I am bad or evil. Children and adolescents who feel unwanted and unloved due to all the criticism, ridicule, and rejection, as well as perhaps neglect and abuse they experience, could and often do further believe they are inherently bad and deserve to be so punished. Worse still, they might also believe they are evil since all their attempts at attaining acceptance and love end up hurting or harming others, essentially causes their parents to become invariably angry and even violent towards them. I am the reason for the family's problems. Many children may believe, or become conditioned to believe, as scapegoats, that they are the sole reason for the family's problems, or, worse yet, they have single-handedly caused parents to become separated and even divorced, since the child's parents seem to incessantly argue over his or her needs, never mind whatever the parents may otherwise say to the contrary. The point of it all. When less than or not good enough feelings form, as well as unwanted or unloved, unworthy or undeserving, useless or worthless, failure and other adverse beliefs color a child's or adolescent's reality, literally shapes their relationship to the world, it is perhaps unsurprising how they could also wonder, with immense suffering, what their ultimate reason for being is. I should have never been born. Sometimes as the quote-unquote last resort to virtually any child's seemingly unsurmountable frustrations and anger towards others as well as themselves regarding family problems or issues with peers, they may ultimately believe and further express how they should have never been born. In more extreme and heartbreaking cases, thoughts, and actions towards causing self-harm or worse can and sometimes do occur.